Adapting is a very common term in Smash, fighting games, and even life in general. Adapting, at least in Smash terms, is to change your game plan and the options you pick depending on the information your opponent is giving you in order to counterplay them more successfully. Having to adapt can be done in many different ways, and scenarios where you can adapt it happen way too often. How you recover, how you edge guard, you're both holding shield in front of each other, what you do when coming off respawn platform, among many others. So we're going to be covering this in very basic terms, which then naturally transcends to more advanced scenarios with practice. A very simple way to adapt to your opponent, and something that happens insanely often in matches, is what your opponent does when you hit their shield. Obviously this game has a lot of diverse fighters with unique moves and options that work well out of shield. But generally speaking, they will be able to roll in either direction, spot dodge, shield grab, punish with another out of shield option, jump, or stay in shield. Something to understand and keep as a rule of thumb is that every option in this game can be punished by another one. Nothing is 100% safe because there will always be another option to counter it. So going back to hitting the opponent's shield, if you notice how you like to shield grab, you can start spacing your aerial better, doing a double jump right before landing, or simply tomahawk grab them as ways of countering it. And some falling aerials can be safe on shield so you might be able to get a spot dodge out on time. If they like to roll, you can follow them. You can wait out their spot dodge, anti-air their jump, and if they hold shield, you can just grab them. And if you have a command grab, that's even better. The important thing is to pay attention to what your opponent likes to do in certain situations. And obviously at higher level play, the opponent will probably mix up what they do out of shield or any other situation. So if you're not sure what they're gonna do, you can either commit to a read, but you can also choose not to commit and maybe pick a more defensive and safer option, like shielding or rolling, just to see what your opponent does. Another way to adapt to your opponent is by using projectiles. The opponent will probably have to shield the projectile, or they can jump over it, but just pay attention to what they do afterwards. Do they jump? Run in? Remember all of the options we mentioned before. And some projectiles can be charged, or will simply trigger an option by the opponent by just doing them. So pay attention to what the opponent does here as well. And all of this can be flipped and used against projectiles. Pay attention to what the character wielding the projectile does after charging or throwing them. Another simple way of adapting is by paying attention to what the opponent does while on the ledge. Everybody knows there's four main options out of ledge. Regular get up, get up attack, roll, and jump. But there are also two more hidden options which are dropping down and double jumping back up or simply waiting in ledge which is a lot more useful than people think. This won't be a ledge trapping guide but it's important to pay attention to these options because both you and your opponent will probably grab a ledge very often in a match. So it's crucial to be familiar with all the options that can be done here and which ones your opponent likes to go for the most. Like I said, there are basically endless scenarios where adapting can be implemented, but I wanted to keep it in the most simplest of terms, which hopefully helps you understand the basic foundation of it, and can apply it further into your gameplay. Yo, what's good homies? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date with my current projects. Make sure to join my discord server if you would like some coaching lessons or just hang around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.